hello everyone in this video you are going to learn how we can use sessions in asp.net mvc web application to store some a string okay now here we are retrieving some stored string now we are going to do that from scratch firstly we are going to create the project open the visual studio so we are going to create a new one select web application as model view controller if you cannot see that here in the recent section you can select uh, app here then select web application with model view controller click continue I am going to use author authentication provided by the windows and then target framework is .NET 7.0 then click continue I am going to say the project name as sessions then create it now here in this project we will have our default controller as home controller and the database as a SQLite database here we can start the application now in this views folder we have our view for the home controller okay now the web application is working now what I am going to do just open this home controller now here in this index method we are written in the view it will identify the required view by it is method name which is this index here in this home we have index so now we are going to store some uh, string to sessions for that I am going to say uh, to store a uh, string HTTP context HTTP context okay dot session dot now the thing is this will result an error I will show you that soon now the method will be set a string to store a string we can also set int set int 32 to store a int value so I'm going to set a string now firstly we have to provide the key of the value so the value as I'm going to say name or uh, let's say email so it will be more useful and the second argument will be the value for example I can uh, hard code some email here okay and then if we run this application here you will see an error will occur Here. you can see it shows system dot invalid operation exception has been drawn and session has not been configured for this application or request now the next thing we have to do for that is just click this tools and then click this manage nougat packages after clicking that you have to select this browse then search session you will see some item with dot net icon here which is microsoft.aspnetcore.session you have to select that and then select your project if you are using windows you will see some area here then select your target project select the version as the latest version then click add package in mac os we have to select the project here then click ok now it will ask you some permission to the license we have to accept that license ok now accept it okay now the next thing we had to do is uh, here you will see some codes like builder.services uh, kind of things builder.services or at control uh, with views so in the below here you are going to say builder.services dot add 
session and then parenthesis okay now after that you will see some codes in the below like app dot use routing and app dot use authorization and below of that you are going to say app dot use session and then parenthesis semicolon all right now we can restart the application okay now it is works now the next step is retrieve this string stored in the session how we can retrieve that for that we can go ahead and create a new string a string a uh, variable name as email or whatever so i'm going to set this equals to http context dot session dot get a string now in the parenthesis we can give the key of the value in this case we we want to retrieve the email that is the key for this value so you will see this will show some warning that because if this uh, value is null so it will result an error to avoid that we can say question mark question mark and then double quotes then it will keep the default value as a empty string like this so then a string will not be null it will have double quotes between that this, this will be a empty string okay now the next step is uh, send this email to our view for that we can say view back dot message is equals to email okay now we can open our index.cshtml here we can use some javascript code to show our message otherwise just tags like h2 p tag now in the h3 tag i'm going to show my email with hi and then email to assess the email we can say at view bag dot message okay now we can go ahead and restart our application okay now we can see our email is visible all right i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you